In this video, I'm going to be using the iRig Pro I.O. to connect my MIDI keyboard to my iPad and record here in GarageBand. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live today and don't worry, that was just an empty box. In this one, we're going to be taking the iRig Pro I.O. for another spin here in GarageBand on my iPad. This time we're going to be using the MIDI connections here on the side to connect this up to my MIDI keyboard, connect it to GarageBand and see if we can record some keys. So let's jump in and get started. Very quickly, in case you missed my previous videos, the iRig Pro I.O. is an audio interface compatible with iPhone, iPad, as well as Mac and PC that supports quarter-inch guitar and instrument input, XLR input for microphones, and MIDI instrument input, like the output that we're going to get from this keyboard. So what we'll do in this video is I'll plug my keyboard into the iRig Pro I.O., then into my iPad, and we'll see how we go recording some keys. Oh, and if you think the iRig Pro I.O. might be the audio interface for you, check the links in the description to check it out. Now to connect our iRig to our iPhone or iPad, we firstly need to locate this socket here. This is our little DIN connector. We need to plug this end of our lightning cable in there. And then the other end here is a lightning plug. And this is what's going to now plug directly into our iPad or iPhone. And there you go, you can see once we've plugged it in, we get the blue light here that says that the iRig is now communicating with our iPad. Now we can plug in a guitar or a microphone here, or we can actually plug in MIDI by using our MIDI inputs here. Now these are very different kind of MIDI inputs to most devices, but the good news is in the box we get the cable to convert from a five pin DIN output, like the one on this keyboard, into this device. So let's grab those cables and get connected. And here they are. So we get a pair of cables because the iRig actually supports MIDI in and MIDI out. So yes, you can even control your keyboards from your software on your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, or your iPad. However, this keyboard only supports output. So we'll only be sending output from the keyboard into our iPad. Plus, GarageBand also only accepts MIDI input. So what I'll do now is we'll flip this keyboard around and we'll connect up the MIDI into the MIDI in on our iRig. Now, before I connect my keyboard to the iRig, I've done one more thing, and that is to actually power up the keyboard. Now, I've used a USB connection here. You can also use an AC adapter. Depends what your keyboard has, but you do need your keyboard to be powered because the five-pin DIN connection will not actually send power as well as MIDI information. So you do need to have separate power supply for your keyboard. Now, if that sounds like a hassle and you want to be completely mobile, the other solution that you can use is using a USB connection connection and a lightning to USB adapter. And I've got another video, which I'll link up the top there showing you exactly how to do that. So I've flipped my keyboard over here so we can see the MIDI input here. Now what I'll need to do is plug in the cable like that. And that's the MIDI output. Now we'll put the keyboard gently back down like that. And now this end needs to go into our iRig. Now these are a lot easier to see in real life. My camera's just having a little tough time focusing on the small print there. But what we're gonna do is plug this in to the input there and now we get this flashing light and that's the universal sign for MIDI be good now. So now that MIDI be good now, what I'll do is I'll plug in a headphone jack here into my mixer so that you can also hear the audio and I can through headphones. And then let's see if we can play us some keyboard here using the iRig. Now in other videos, I've talked about the gain controller, making sure you turn the gain down. Now with MIDI, we don't have to worry about gain because it's not an audio signal, it's a digital data signal. All this is sending is a bunch of ones and zeros that represent the note we're pressing here, the note length, how hard we're pressing it, called the velocity, the pitch and the modulation, the sustain, and a few other things as well. So you don't have to worry about that, but you do have to make sure that your volume of your headphones is set to the level that you wanna be able to hear it. So the moment of truth, if everything's set up correctly, we should be able to play this keyboard and the sound will actually come through our iPad here in GarageBand. So, success. It is working well. So everything is connected here. We can now choose any instrument we like here on the iPad and we can actually play along here and record using this full 49 key MIDI keyboard. So let's have a bit of fun here. Let's just lay down a little bit of a track here and really put the iRig through its paces.
So there you go. Just a little fun to finish up there to show you how flexible it can be to record all sorts of different instruments using your MIDI keyboard connected through. And it's not just keyboards. Any MIDI instrument can be connected to the iRig and sent to your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, or your iPad. So maybe some MIDI drums. Maybe that's a hint for a future video. All right, let's finish up here. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions about this, you can leave those down below. But let's close out now with my little eight-bar piece that I've just composed here using my MIDI keyboard.